Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. Recently, Topaz Labs updated Gigapixel 2 version 8.3. With this update, Topaz Labs have introduced a new AI model called Recover version 2. In today's video, we're going to take a look at this new model and see how it compares to the previous model, Recover version 1. Now, as you can see, I have Gigapixel open. On my desktop, I have an image of a woodpecker. Now, if we look at the bottom, you can see that this is a relatively small image. It's 667 by 1000. This is a reason why you would want to use Gigapixel. You have a very small image, low resolution, and it's really too small to get a significant size print from it. So you would use Gigapixel to blow it up, make it bigger, so that you could get a better or a bigger print from it. Now, as you can see, I have it set to upscale at 4x. So my 667 by 1000 pixel image will become 2668 by 4000. So I could get a larger image or a larger print from this size image. Now, as I mentioned, it is of a woodpecker. And I mentioned that there is this new um, AI or generative um, model that has been introduced in this version of Gigapixel. It's called Recover version 2. And if we look down here at the generative section, you can see it's right here, Recover version 2. And if we click on that, you'll see that you have still access to Recover version 1 and this new Recover version 2. Now, to compare them, I want to compare apples to apples. So I'm going to use Autopilot. You can see I have the little lightning bolt lit up. That means it's clicked on and it's set to Auto. Now, to get a rendering of what it would look like is what you would do is you would take this little box and click on an area on the image to get that rendering. Now, click right on the uh, woodpecker's head. Now, I'm using version 1. This is the older version, and you can see that it's rendering this preview here. Now, once it renders the preview, uh, you could come in and tweak it with the uh, detail slider you could click on another area to add to the preview. You could add up to three of these. And then if you add a fourth one, it will remove the first one you added to add that fourth one. But in this case, I'll just keep that one. And like I mentioned, I want to compare apples to apples. So I'm going to keep the auto setting and just go with that. And I am going to cloud rendering it, cloud render it. It's telling me that it would take six cloud credits. So I'm going to click on that, and it's saying yes. Do I want to use six cloud credits? I'll click yes. And then I have to click over here to render it. And you could see that I uh, tested this ahead of time, so there's a couple there already. So it is now rendering this in the cloud. And by the way, um, if I did render this on my computer, it would probably take about five to ten minutes to render on my computer so that's why I'm using the cloud rendering and you need those cloud credits I did do a video on this uh, previously talking about cloud credits they're not free uh, you have to pay for them I'll have a link to that video in the description below this video and I have a link to Topaz Labs website where you could see how much cloud credits cost I'm not going to go into it again here so as you can see it's still rendering it's taking some time and then, you know, the, the speed will vary. It did say 37 seconds or one minute and 37 seconds down here. One thing about the version two of this uh, recover model is it's a lot faster. It doesn't take this long. So that's um, an advantage right there. And as I mentioned, we're going to look at these and compare them to one another to see if version two is not only faster, but if it looks better. Now, I do want to mention very quickly, too, that my iMac is relatively old. So if I wanted to render this on my computer, on my iMac, I mentioned it would take quite a while. Um, I did order a new computer. Hopefully it comes in soon so that I don't have to be spending all this money on cloud credits. And you're going to see in a moment, I do have a problem with my computer with version 2 and I'll show you that in hopefully very soon that you can see it's at 90% so hopefully this renders very uh, relatively quickly and there it is I think it's done okay so we're done with that that's version 1 and we're going to look at that in a moment let's go over to version 2 and I mentioned that I have a, a problem with my computer with version 2 watch now I'm going to click and get that um, preview uh, on the actual image 
And you're probably wondering, maybe you're wondering at least why I have to click to get the preview. Why doesn't it give, just give you a preview like it does for the other non-generative models? It's because it takes a long time. You can see how it's taken a long time just to render this little area right here. And this is the problem I'm having with version two. You can see what it did here. It's just all pixelated. And if I minimize uh, this uh, before I started the video, I actually rendered one using that version two on my computer. And you could see this is what I ended up with. So hopefully when I get my new computer with a different graphics uh, processor, it won't do this anymore when I have to or want to render on my computer. Now, fortunately, if I do render this in the cloud, which I am going to, uh, it doesn't render like this. It renders much better, and you'll see. Now, again, I am using autopilot, so I have auto on for version 2. So I am going to be comparing apples to apples, and I am going to uh, render in the cloud. And you can see here it's going to take one credit and 13 seconds. So version 2 is a lot faster and cheaper than version one. So we'll click on that. And it says, do you want to use this one credit? Yes. And then it's going to tell me to click over here. And then you'll notice that this will go a lot faster than the previous one. I won't have to keep talking to fill in the time. And once this does render, I will open these three images up into Photoshop. And um, the reason why I'm doing that is it's easier for me to show you the differences, if there is any, between the two different uh, versions of the recover model. So this is done already. So let's uh, minimize this. And on my uh, desktop, I have that. I'm not going to open this one in Photoshop. This is the one uh, before I started the video that I rendered with version two on my computer. And that's what I ended up with. Now, I mentioned that if you do render it in the cloud, if your computer does that, it will render properly in the cloud. So I'm going to open up the three images, the original image plus the two larger images with the two different models in Photoshop. So we'll let those open. And then I'm going to um, put them all together so they're all in one window, uh, one layer on top of the other, and then I'll be able to uh, A-B them for you. So we'll let that open. It's going to take a second. And then we'll see if there's an actual difference. Okay, this is the original image. You see how kind of small it is compared to the other images. Now, this is a Recover version 1, and this is Recover version 2 right here. Couldn't see much of a difference there. But what I am going to do is I'm going to take this image. I'm going to get the Move tool. Tap the V key on your keyboard to get the Move tool in Photoshop. And I'm going to drag this one up to that tab. Hold the Shift key down, and it will drop it right on top. Now, you see I have both of them one on top of the other. Now I'm going to go to the original image, which is a lot smaller, and I'm going to drag that up to that tab, and I'm going to drop this onto the image. Now you can see this one's a lot smaller because it is the unenlarged version, but I am going to uh, transform it by hitting Command-T on my Mac, Control-T on the PC, so I could come in here and make it the same size as the others, so we could properly A-B these images. It looks to be about there. Okay, and then we'll click this little check mark. Okay, now the top image, let me zoom in a little bit by hitting Command Plus a couple times and then scroll down so we could see the head of the woodpecker there. All right, this is the original image that was very small. All right, I'm going to turn that off and now you're going to see version one. You can see how version one is a lot sharper than that and it just looks better. Now, what about version two? Version two is sharp, but in a different way. Whether or not it's better, I don't know. There's version one, and there's version two. It might be slightly better. I think it might be better. There's version one. You could look at the feather detail in the body of the um, woodpecker as opposed to the head. So there's version one. And there's version two. There's version one. And there's version two. Now, again, here's the original image. And there's version one. And there's version two. I do think version two does look better. Uh, so version two, 
It renders a lot faster when you render in the cloud. And I'm thinking I wasn't able to do it. As you saw, it doesn't render on my computer properly. But I think if you do render it on your computer, it's going to be faster on your computer as well compared to version one. And it seems to look better as well. So this is version two we're looking at. There's version one. And there's the original. There's version one. And there's version two. Version one. Version two. That's it. I, I, I think it's better. I don't like using cloud credits, though. And again, in the description below this video, I have a link to the video I did where I talk more in detail about cloud credits, how they're purchased and stuff like that. And I'll have a link to Topaz Labs website and you could look at how much cloud credits cost. Um, I really don't like the whole cloud credit like idea. I see where they're coming from. I mean, they're just kind of putting cash registers at every turn. So wherever you're, you know, want to do something, you're going to have to pay extra for it. And, um, you know, that's, um, unfortunate for, you know, lack of a better way to put it, uh, because, you know, you think if you could buy software, it should just work and you don't have to pay any extra for it. Um, I do understand that it's using AI and it has to access their servers and stuff like that, but they're already charging you yearly for a license for and updates for Gigapixel. Um, you would think that would be priced in. But anyway, I digress and I get off my soapbox. So that's it. That's uh, Gigapixel version 8.3. And by the way, specifically in this video, I was using version 8.3.3. So I had a minor update there. Thank you. Everyone who watches my videos, I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.